Hello guys, welcome back to the Information Security Newspaper Channel. My name is Miguel Lopez. I hope you're doing really, really great, guys. So remember, we talk things related with hacking attacks, cybersecurity. So if you want to get more information, you can follow us on our social media networks. We are leaving the links down below. And guys, please, if you got any comments or suggestions, don't forget to write them down. So let's start. So there's a new ATM vulnerability that allows hackers to withdraw money without having any bank account. So that's true, some experts just reported that there's a new flaw through the execution of remote code. And this is specifically on the Opteva ATMs from the Diable Nixford company. So the vulnerability is aimed to tag the Agilis XFS software that it's used by these ATMs and they just have to execute the code and that's it. The hackers will have control for the ATM as long as they want. So pretty bad news. Anyway, I hope there's an ethical hacker over there to show up help to the people. So the ATM company just released some security patches and they are beginning an awareness campaign for the customers. So as always, we recommend the banks to implement security patches and to ensure that the firewall are configured properly. Okay, was the United States immigration system hacked? So it seems true, the United States Customs and Border Protection Agency, as you know, they use super cameras at airports and border crossings in a systematic way to record the human traffic. So, the information obtained is used for the agency facial recognition program and it's designed to track the identity of individuals entering or leaving the United States territory. So, recently, some border agents reported that thousands of pictures of travelers and license plates were hacked and they believe that the data was compromised due to a government security breach. So, let's see if now they let people enter to work in the United States. Let's hope so. Anyway, this incident worries the members of the Congress because they believe that it can become a greater threat to the citizens of the country. So, let's hope they didn't hack the entire immigration system and this doesn't go to worst. Okay, so now China is hijacking mobile traffic to spy on users. So, last week, a great part of the Europe mobile traffic was redirected through the Chinese infrastructure of Telecom. This is a great company over there, and the incident occurred due to a leak in the BGP routes of the safe host company on Europe. So, as you know, the BGP protocol is used to redirect the traffic at a provider level. And well, as you know, the routing incidents are pretty frequently and they only used to last a few minutes, but in this time, it lasted more than two hours. So, it seems that the traffic directed to multiple mobile networks in Europe was deviated to the telecom network, and well, which they have already been accused of hijacking the internet traffic. So, at least I'm not affected because I'm on the other side of the world, but it seems that China wants to take control over the internet so that they can spy and watch over the whole world. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the news of this chapter. And again, my name is Miguel. If you got any comments or suggestions, I want you to please write them down, guys. And well, if you want to get more information about cybersecurity, hacking attacks, and a lot of information, you can also follow us on our social media networks. We are leaving the links down below. So, see you in the next one.